Okay, Summer Road Trip 2022. We only have one night booked, which is the first night stay, and a one-way Eurotunnel ticket to Europe. We have an idea of the route we want to take, but it's totally fluid. The idea is to head to the south of France, go to Italy via Monaco, up past Genoa, down to Pisa, across to Florence, and then down to Rome. After that, we head back up towards Austria, across Switzerland, and back to the UK via northern France. Let's see what happens. Good morning. It's about 5am on the 23rd of July and we're about to head off for a somewhere between two to three weeks uh, road trip around Europe. Uh, this should be hopefully the first of many videos. All being well, fingers crossed. Okay, well, it's now 5.30 and car is fully packed and we're about to head off. Right, well, that was pretty horrific. It's 11 a.m. and we've only just got to the Folkestone Supercharger. So, I guess, uh, might be a bit late for a hotel check-in tonight. Traffic's been utterly horrific. It literally took two hours to do the last three miles to the Eurotunnel terminal. So I guess that's the joys of traveling on the first day of the school holidays. So I'm just charging now at the supercharger at the Eurotunnel terminal, and hopefully we'll be on our way within about 20 minutes. Hey guys, quick update. We finally managed to get on the train at about 1 p.m. So hopefully we'll be in France by 3 p.m. Which means that we're probably not going to hit our first hotel until about 9 p.m. tonight. If we're lucky and everything stays moving and clear. So fingers crossed we get there safely and on time without any further delays. So we're here at the first supercharger stop in Bay de Somme and I'm very glad that we're in a Tesla because behind me we've got the Ionity chargers and a massive queue to use them. So it seems like there's nowhere near enough Ionity chargers here but just about enough Tesla chargers. So that's lucky. Um, going to be about 40 minute charge here unfortunately but we can go and grab a bite to eat and then get on with the trip. Day two was spent mostly driving from just north of Dijon to Marseille. The trip was about 6.5 hours and required three stops. We spent just over 1.5 hours charging whilst we had breakfast and lunch respectively. We arrived in Marseille at about 5 p.m. Day three was spent exploring Marseille. Day four, we've just spent two nights in Marseille, now in a slightly sketchy underground car park of questionable size, but more or less. And we're heading over Genoa direction today, hopefully gonna to stop for maybe a bike to eat in Monaco on the way around the, uh, around the Mediterranean coast. So, we'll see what happens. We're at Nice, just quickly charging the car up, grab some food, and then going on to Italy via Monaco. Driving through Monaco was pretty cool for someone who is a huge fan of Formula 1 and racing in general. Quick update, uh, day 5 today I think. Um, we just left Pietra Ligra and we are in Vizera, supercharging. Uh, it's been not too bad actually, about half an hour's drive so far this morning. We've got about another two hours to get to Pisa. And then we've got the day in Pisa today. It's only about uh, 10.30 in the morning. 
and then we shall be staying the night in Pisa and heading on to Florence tomorrow, uh, which is only about an hour away from Pisa, maybe an hour and a half. So eating up the miles, Marseille was cool, but uh, Pietra Liga was stunning. Really beautiful little seaside town and looking forward to spending the rest of the day today in Pisa. Pisa to Florence was only just over an hour, so it didn't require a charge, so we just topped up at Florence at the supercharger. Good morning, we're on day six, I think now, no, day eight now. Uh, we have just spent four lovely days in Florence and we are currently on our way down to Rome. Uh, we are at the Arezzo Supercharger, which is like a 24 stall, I think. It's quite a huge one at this very lovely hotel, uh, which has a nice outdoor swimming pool and bar and things. Seems to be quite a busy charger, but is, uh, weather's fantastic and uh, probably only about two hours away from Rome at this point. Uh, so should be there by lunchtime. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to keep you guys updated. But yeah, it's been uh, eight days now on the road uh, with uh, four of those being spent in Florence. And now we've got four days coming up in Rome uh, before we head back north. So speak to you guys soon. So, 1.30, we've made it to the Rome Supercharger. Nice solar canopy here, made up of solar panels. The car's just charging, so that we can do some driving while we're in Rome. Probably be the last charge, and probably the furthest that we'll be away from home now. I think we're about 1,500 miles from the UK at this point. So, from this point, we'll be heading north again in about three days. I'll update you then. Hey, so a quick update. We are actually back at Arezzo at the same hotel again, just on our way back up from Rome to Marinello. So gonna do a tour of the Ferrari Museum hopefully tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're in Marinello for, for two nights before we head up to the Alps. So just charging the car up and uh, then we'll be on our way. But yeah, Rome was awesome. Four days there, flew by, uh, traveled by mostly the metro, which was good, uh, nice and easy. And uh, food was incredible, scenery is amazing, loving driving in Italy. Drivers uh, drive similarly to me, which a lot of people might say is a bit crazy, but I enjoy it. So onwards to Marinello. Good evening. So we made it to Marinello and as you can see behind me, we have the Ferrari factory. So I will update you guys in the morning. Just been out for a lovely dinner uh, in Mar Marinello and uh, gonna go to bed now, try and get some sleep. Good morning from Modena. We've uh, spent lovely three days here in Modena, been around all of the motorsports valley, toured the Ferrari uh, Museum, Pagani Museum, uh, Lamborghini Museum, which was a lot of fun. And we're heading up to Austria this morning. So another 400 or so kilometers, uh, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we're at the Afi Supercharger, right by Lake Garda. Uh, second charge of the day. One to go at the top of Brunano Pass uh, as we head into Austria. So this will be the last one probably in Italy. We are in Austria now, just charging on the border between Italy and Austria at the Brunano uh, Superchargers. 
heading up towards Innsbruck, uh, where we're staying in the mountains for a few days, and uh, then going off to see some family in Switzerland uh, after that. So we'll be heading back towards home uh, in a couple of days' time, and that will be the start of the end of the road trip. One thing to note about the superchargers here is that they are extremely busy normally. Somehow we've gone from completely full to almost empty now as we're finishing the end of our charge. But uh, charge speed was very limited when we first got here. Good morning. So we are in Austria and we are heading to Arberg in Switzerland today. Um, just had to make a quick toilet stop and found possibly one of the most beautiful services we've ever seen. Um, amazing place. It's a lovely sunny day and these services are just <laughs> crazy. It's like some sort of alpine chalet next to the next to the motorway. So we are heading out of Innsbruck in Austria and heading down towards St. Gallen in Switzerland. Um, probably drive quite close to Liechtenstein, but I don't think we're gonna go into it. Um, so it should be, should be a very pretty drive today. So uh, about five hours in the car, I think, today, and uh, plan to go and see some family in Switzerland and go and have a traditional Swiss fondue at the end of the day with them. Hey guys, charging in St. Gallen in Switzerland now. We had about two and a half, three hours on the road. Uh, stop for lunch, quick top up of the car, and there's like 20 or so, 24 maybe, Tesla V3 chargers here. But not only that, there's like another 30 other branded EV chargers, which is awesome to see. There's this whole stall behind me, which is just full of EV chargers, which is great to see, and very cool to see Switzerland embracing EVs as much as this. Morning. So, second to last day of our trip today. Uh, we just had two days in Strasbourg, which was lovely. Amazing food, beautiful city. It's a bit like Venice. It's a kind of town that time forgot. So, we've uh, just uh, finished up there and we're heading back to the UK now. Um, we've got one more stop in France before we head off. Just uh, got to Matt's, had some food and cars finished charging, so heading on up towards St. Quentin and our final stop today. So I think one more charging stop on the way up. So we had a quick uh, 15 minute charge at Reims and now we're at St. Quentin. Uh, got the place to ourselves, no other cars here. So far, not had to queue at any superchargers across this whole 5,000 kilometer trip. And this is probably one of the chargers I've visited the most on the continent now. I think it's maybe our fifth or sixth time here uh, in about the last uh, six or seven weeks even. Um, yeah, nice location, lovely for a picnic, some kids parks and things. And we're probably just going to be charging for about 20 minutes before we get on the way to our stop tonight, which is about another 25 minute drive towards the tunnel from here. Uh, just a farmhouse out in the middle of the French countryside. And then we can head back to the UK tomorrow morning. So just making sure we've got enough to get to Calais and the terminal and the charge is there. The return to the UK was quick and effortless, only needing to charge once at the Calais terminal. Over the course of our trip, we managed to drive a total of 4,919 kilometers or 3,056 miles. We averaged 218 watt hours per kilometer or 350 watt hours per mile. This was at the motorway speed limit of 130 kilometers an hour or 81 miles an hour, with the AC set to 22 Celsius or 72 Fahrenheit, with four people in the car and all their luggage. With my Model S having a usable 78 kilowatt hours from the battery pack, that meant a real world range of about 358 kilometers or 223 miles. So what did the trip cost? Well, actually nothing as I'm lucky enough to have free supercharger for life on my early Model S. And this would have cost around about a thousand pounds or 1200 euros in petrol. 
thanks for following my road trip and making it to the end of the video. I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment about any awesome road trips that you've either done or are planning to do. I'll see you in the next one.